Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and in case you guys thought I missed it, I did not. I did also shop the Sephora VIB sale like, well, everybody else. However, I feel like the sale haul train has come to a halt, so I figured everybody's taking a break from that. Why not bring them back here? So, anyway... <laughs> In case you may be wondering or you just want to see a new haul video, I am going to share with you today the products that I got from the Via B sale. So are you ready for these products? I am so excited. I've had this sitting here for a while and I've been wanting to dig into this stuff, but I am waiting for this video. So let's just jump into it so I can go ahead and use some of this stuff tomorrow. So first things first from Sol de Janeiro, I did get the small size of the Brazilian Crush Body Spray. So it looks like this. If you know what the Boom Boom Cream smells like, this smells exactly like that, but it is in a body fragrance scent. So it's not as strong, but it still smells good. I feel like the difference is this one's a little bit sweeter. But that's fine because it smells so dang good. I would highly recommend picking that up if you do not already own that because it is good. Okay? Okay. So then next. So then next from the Y, from the LYS makeup brand that is newer to Sephora that everybody's been raving about. I did get their, the Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. So everybody's been raving about this brand and they do have a unique aesthetic so a lot of their packaging is in a triangle shape. Ta-da! This looks like this. This gripping primer sounds like it's going to be good. I bet it's going to be tacky and just like a pore filling primer so I'm excited to go ahead and try this guy out. I do want to try some of their other stuff too but... Um, I did just kind of get some things that I've been wanting to try during this sale. So along with that, I did also get the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. This sounds like it is going to be beautiful for dry skin. Am I wrong? I know like everybody already has this, so somebody should be able to tell me. But anyway, the packaging is so cute. Very... <clears throat> very much like summer vibes so I'm hoping this is as good as it sounds so I don't know if I want to oh this video is so dark it's getting too dark to film I guess dang <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do swatches because like I said it's pretty dark and the video is going to be dark probably so I apologize in advance I don't even know what shade I got 30 light that's not a surprise All right yeah, that light's going to make it too, too bright for you to be able to see anything. But this on swatch feels nice. I'll definitely have to try that on the face to see how I really like it. Alright guys, let's bump up the energy. Bump up the energy. Bump up the energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to get into it, guys. I got to get into it, guys. Alright, so the next thing that I got was the way leave-in conditioner. I do already have some leave-in conditioner in right now, or I would probably try this, but I did want to go ahead and try some other leave-in conditioners, and I've never tried, okay, I don't do a whole lot of hair products, so most hair products I have never tried before, so this is not going to be an exception to that. Um, so I hope that this is a really nice leave-in conditioner. I hope it does wonders with my hair. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. All right, and then you may or may not have already seen this video because I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but this is a Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation. The new thing that everybody's raving about. Um, I did, will be doing whatever, a first impression. So if that's already up, I'll go ahead and link that in the description below so you can watch it if you haven't already. Um, but I feel like this is a nice foundation. And if you haven't tried it and you have dry skin and like a nice medium coverage, check this guy out. It's, it's, it's pretty affordable too. So it's not really going to break the bank just for trying a new foundation. 
And then I also got the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three that everybody has been raving about. Again, I've never tried any Olaplex products because I'm not a big hair person. I usually just stick with like a couple of products and keep it pushing. But apparently this is supposed to do wonders for your hair. Use before shampooing, not a conditioner. It's a bond builder. Now if this doesn't transform my hair like everybody keeps saying it does and does something amazingly beautiful, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. If you can see, I have like the thinnest crap hair known to man, okay? So if this can give me something, I'll be greatly appreciated. Now there's like a random sponge in there. I don't know how that got in that box because I know I didn't buy some random sponge. What's going on? All right, so I do just have a couple things left. I did get the Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Luminizer. Now this is a product from Artist Couture that people like rave about. So I do have the Ethereal Bloom palette. That was not really a favorite for me. It was kind of a bust to be honest. So I decided maybe try some of their cheek or face products and oh my lord. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's really pretty. I'm going to do a swatch. I'm sure nobody will be able to see it. That's how unfortunate this is. Okay. Very unfortunate. Whoa. What am I... I don't even know what I'm swatching that on top of. I don't know. The camera's probably not going to pick it up. Why is everything so unfortunate? Why can I film this video in the midday on a day off? Why might you be also wondering? Because usually the only time I have to myself is like the three minutes after I get out of work. Can't see it. Cannot see it. Uh, you know what? I can barely see it because of this lighting in here. But it, from what I can see though, it looks really, really pretty. It is a golden color. So it's going to be great for the summer, I feel like. So I'm excited to test that out. You know what? I hope on the playback this video is not as dark as it looks. But I think it's we're pushing like 8, 8.30 here. Alright, and then I got the Huda Beauty, one of their brown palettes, brown obsessions or whatever they're called. It's, the t I got the toffee brown. I wanted to get all three, but I figured I would just go ahead and try one, and I got the one that called out to me the most. Now, how do you open this? How do you open this? Oh, it's got a, okay. It's got a... Oh my god, I will never be able to get this open. It's got a little plastic thing around it, okay? You have to take the palette out of the plastic piece. Uh, not, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Okay. Oh, it is so dark in here, people. So dark. This, this is disappointing. Ooh. It looks pretty, though. It looks pretty. You probably won't be able to tell, but there's a shade with some swirlies and then a pressed glitter and some nice warm yellowy tone browns in there so I'll be excited to try that out I know people weren't as thrilled with them during first impressions for people that's been already you know owning them and using them in videos but I'm gonna give it a whirl we'll see how that goes all right and so the next thing I got is a tower 28 cream blush and this one is in the shade after hours so, I have been super excited to try these. I have not tried them yet, so this is my first one. But I've been hearing such amazing things about these blushes. Well, about this brand in general, honestly. And so, I'm glad that I was able to pick one up on sale. So, let me just show you what it looks like and then I'll swatch it. So, there is After Hours. So this is definitely um, a stiffer formula. Uh, you can see that tonight. Look at that. Wow. This definitely looks like one of those blushes that are scary and you're really going to have to be careful with. 
But that can be a good thing, especially if you like super pigmented blushes, then um, this will probably be right up your alley. And it, it feels like it's probably it would probably have really great staying power too, just off of that little swatch there. So I may try this on the cheeks tomorrow, but but maybe not because I did get another cream blush. I think it's a cream blush. You know what? Yes, it is. It is. I, I couldn't remember if these were cream or not, but this is another one that everyone has been going bananas over. It is one of the Melt Cream Blush Lights. So I did get one of those, and this one is in the shade Lynx. I got these because <clears throat> I got these because they were supposed to be luminous, like dewy luminous, and that's what I really like. I like I like luminous bronzers, and I like luminous blushes, and I like highlight. I like my whole cheek to be glowing. So this is the first product I've ever bought from Melt. Um, the Melt products that really catch my eye and draw me in are their cheek products, but I just have not bought one until this sale, so this is the first one. This one it looks like this, so it's definitely got like a golden hue to it, I think. Yes, kind of, maybe. Right, let's take a look. Ooh, this one's more thinner, more balmy-like. The other one's, the Tower 28 is definitely thicker, um, thicker, heavier formula. Um, yeah, or this one's more like a gold need type of shade. You probably won't be able to see it on camera because of this lighting. Because you know what? I For me to be able to see it, I got to hit it right in the light. But that color looks like it's going to be great in the summer. It's just like a goldeny, uh, a golden bronze. You can kind of see it. I mean, anyway, this day has been a total filming train wreck. But let me know. Let me know um, your opinions on any of these products and or this video. If you have any, probably not, but you know what I mean. And anyway, if you do like these videos, please subscribe, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!